I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Are we ready? Ready? Are we ready? That is the question. That is the, the magic day. question. <laughs> Good morning, Okeechobee High School. We're here, day one. Seniors, this is your last day one. I'll go ahead and throw it out there. So teachers, just go ahead and third hour, go ahead and get the tears ready. You know, they think they want to get out of here, and, and today they're probably still in the mode of, ah, oh, this is my senior year, I'm getting out of here, I'm getting out of here. Wait till May. Wait they're going to be crying, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> And you saw at open house the other night, man, all these seniors that are trying to come back that graduated last year because they didn't believe me when I was saying it on day one last year. But I'm telling you, this is, you take care of your business every day because this is the place where you want to be right now. The real world sucks. Ask the seniors, <laughs> ask the seniors that just graduated. You're managing your own clock and that's the problem. They don't want us to manage it. But then when they get out and they got to manage it on their own, that's when it just slaps them right in the face that, man, I wish I was getting ready for day one today. I wish I would have laid my clothes out last night. <laughs> and I wish I would have just stood in front of the mirror just trying to figure out which outfit to go. Those days don't last forever, so take advantage of it. Seniors, seniors only. You better show out in your camouflage tomorrow. Sophomores, you really don't know what I'm talking about. And juniors, you definitely do, but... Fridays are for seniors camo only. So if you're an underclassman, we're gonna make you change. Um, we'll just have to go ahead and set the tone tomorrow. So save your pretty little camo outfits for Monday through Thursday, because seniors only, that is a school privilege and that is something that we're not gonna budge on with the seniors and their camo privilege. So make sure you remember that for tomorrow. And you need to remember that today is not Monday. That's what I gotta get through my head. Today is not Monday, today is Thursday, which means Day after Thursday is Friday, so Friday tomorrow is Senior Camo Day. <laughs> Lunches. On this campus, you either have A lunch or you have B lunch. Make sure you check your schedule. If not, you can ask your teachers. They know which lunch they have. Um, you may actually have to go to that fifth hour to find out for sure. The only mistake I've seen on schedules is there's some students in weight training and power weight training that it says 5A. You don't have first lunch and then try to go work out. That that wouldn't that's not a good mix. You actually have five B. It's now changed in the computer, but it may not be changed on your on your schedule that's printed out. Speaking of schedules, make sure you follow your schedule that you have in your hand today. That is your schedule today. Now I know I heard a lot the other night where I know I'm not going to take this class, so I'm just not going to go. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have a holding tank. Go to the class. Guidance is working. But just so you know, guidance priority right now is to get students in. We probably still have about 25 to 30 students that are re-enrolling or enrolling. The priority is to get them schedules, and then we'll, we'll prioritize the needs versus the wants after that. Um, they, Ms. Sills has put out all kinds of information about a schedule change form. It's something you can get off our website. Um, that is something you can fill out. Um, but I wouldn't even try to drop it off in guidance right now. Just, just assume guidance is pretty much off limits um, for people that need schedule changes. Um, and, and, you know, we'll, we'll talk more about schedule changes over the next couple of days because, you know, people, a lot of people are like, I didn't sign up for this class. I don't want this class. You're in the classes that you need. You're in the classes you need to take. These classes, every class on this campus is either going to get you graduation ready, college and career ready, or world ready. It's that simple. Um, email is the way. If you need to communicate with somebody, you'll have time during third hour. Send them an email. If you're using your school email, you should be able to pull up all your teachers, your guidance counselors, me, anybody. So communicate via email. Um, if somebody's trying to get somebody on the phone right now, yeah, forget it. It's nuts. Phone, our phones have been up and down all week anyway. If you are a dual enrollment student, if you have a dual enrollment campus, a dual enrollment class on campus, go to that class starting today if you haven't already if you're off campus third or fifth hour you're going to go to the cafeteria third hour you go to the cafeteria we'll have somebody down there to greet you fifth hour if you have stats you're just going to have b lunch also so if you have a lunch then you're going to have b lunch 
If there's any problems throughout the day, make sure you ask. The staff members are gonna know or they're gonna at least know who to ask. The last thing, the most vital thing at the end of the day, we always have people running up to us at the bus going, I don't know which bus I ride. I don't know how I'm getting home. You have to know how you're getting home no later than lunch. We'll have a printout. Your teachers were emailed a bus list. You have to know how you're getting home because I promise you one thing, we are not gonna hold those buses if you don't know which bus you ride. You'll have to figure out how you're getting home after that. Five minutes after that bell rings, we're gonna be sending the buses down the road so that middle schools and elementary schools aren't 20, 30 minutes behind because of us, that won't happen. So teachers have a list, we have a list, find us, make sure you ask. Do not assume that last year's bus was just yours again. If you do, you'll be one of those still standing here when all those buses wave going out the gate and then you'll have to figure out how you're getting home. So what do you guys have? I'm, I took up all the time, didn't I? <laughs> Not all the time. Not all the time. Go Teachers, ahead. this is just a reminder that right now you should be sending me your third hour warm body count. I need those counts by grade level, so make sure you're asking the grade level of the students in your classroom. There's a Google form that was emailed yesterday. Fill out that Google form and make sure that you hit submit. It doesn't shoot that information to me. We need that as soon as possible, please. Um, also, I want to talk to the juniors just a minute. The seniors have had um, their shout out for Mr. Tedder's juniors. It wasn't that long ago. Think back. This was your first day on this campus last year. You know what it's like. You remember being a little bit intimidated, not knowing where you're going. If you see a sophomore that is new to our campus, take the time to show them. Point them in the right direction because this is the Brahmin way. Brahmins helping Brahmins. <laughs> Get that through your head. That's what that's the way we work around here. And I would be remiss to not start the year talking about Chromebooks. Aww. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a Chromebook that you did not get turned in last year, we're going to start reissuing Chromebooks next week and we would love to have it back. No questions asked. Just bring it by the office or bring it to Miss Box's room, 6102. We'll take, we'll gladly take it back and we'll do it with a smile, but please get those back so we have enough starting next week to reissue them and everyone gets a Chromebook. Like Oprah, everyone gets a Chromebook. So the plan is by the end of the month, everybody will have them. So Miss Sherlock's working hard in the media center to know what we have and know who gets and who doesn't. Um, so something you're gonna hear, sophomores, you're gonna get tired of hearing it, but by the end it's gonna be ingrained is every day you gotta move forward. You gotta take care of your business every day and today's day one, so there's no better time to start. Um, your teachers are ready for you. You are ready to be here. You need to be in school every day. Don't miss a day of school. And if you do, bring in a note why you missed. Okay, you don't wanna get caught up in those unexcused days affecting your grades. So move forward and be great every single day that you step on this campus and you'll be moving in the right direction towards the stage in May. Seniors, the stage in May. Show this to your parents so they can cry too. Make sure you have a great day, let's be great. <laughs>